Hi guys, I've been asked to go over some of the settings for the summon feature in version 7.1. So here are the settings. You can see that the summon feature is a beta feature. <clears throat> you can go ahead and turn it on. You can also allow for narrow spaces. If you have a garage, that's a narrow space. And you can also set the summon stop distance. Um, so if you want to get closer um, to the wall uh, within your garage, um, it'll stop it based on certain distances. So I currently have mine set to 16 inches. And you can also use it with the home link. When you have your garage door setting set, it will automatically open and close your garage door. So currently I have my car um, <clears throat> backed up and the rear is actually facing the garage door. So people have asked if the garage door will work um, while backing up. So one of the settings and requirements is to basically have your car lined up and before you can actually use the summit feature. Um, it's not, I, I don't believe it's gonna automatically turn to the garage for you, um, but let's see what it does. Okay, so here I am outside. In order to initiate auto park, push and hold the middle button. Once the hazard lights come on, you push the front button to pull forward into your parking spot or the trunk button to reverse into your parking spot. So let's go ahead and hold it. The hazard light come on and we'll hit the trunk button to back up. You can hear it unlock. Hopefully it'll attempt to open the garage door and it does. Car is still on. I do have a little lip on the garage. I had no problem pulling forward into the garage. Let's see if it goes in reverse. And it does, as expected. My garage isn't as narrow as Philly Gals, but it's pretty wide. So hopefully, hopefully it'll stop at the right spot. That is pretty close, and it also closed the garage door. 